It is 616. We are back on the Weather Watch saying good morning to meteorologist Sam Sampiri. Sam, what a crazy day yesterday. I mean, here in Hartford, we had those periods of downpour, then sunshine, then downpour, sunshine. It was all over the place. And then we got hail in some yeah. parts of the state as well. Uh, ma many of you had sent pictures in uh, yesterday afternoon and yesterday evening, Angelo, and you could see Mike from Wallingford sending in the hail. I had hail at my house, mm -hmm. uh, pea sized hail yesterday. So. Uh, yes, we were talking about that yesterday morning, that there would be some hail, cold air aloft, and certainly an inst unstable atmosphere will give you uh, this kind of a shower activity yesterday with the hail. Thank you for that. And so as we move along today, we're drier today than yesterday. However, there is still the chance for an isolated shower this afternoon, uh, but it will not be as widespread, and I do not think we're going to have any hail. Bright and dry on Monday, warmer midweek, particularly Tuesday and especially on Thursday. Thursday and the temperature trend I'll show you uh, this upcoming week the middle of April the week before uh, Easter of course today is Palm Sunday and you can see temperatures on Tuesday and Thursday especially Thursday now this has been a change that's going to be much warmer getting well up into the 70s and then it will cool back down as we head towards uh, the second half of the week and into uh, next weekend. Meanwhile, uh, running forecast uh, today is okay. You know, uh, just take it easy out there. It's a go. Uh, just a little bit of wind here and there this afternoon with the gustiness with that sort of secondary front developing with those uh, uh, batch of showers. So across the nation, pretty much uh, what's going on here is a little quiet time. A uh, little storm system out uh, here to the north of Denver going up into the Plain States, high pressure. Uh, off to the south here, really going to dominate our weather for a couple days this week. And this little upper level disturbance. And this is uh, bringing in some snow showers here. It looks a lot worse because this is the composite radars across New York, Pennsylvania, and Ohio. Uh, but uh, as this moves along in our direction uh, this afternoon, there could be that isolated shower. Uh, and most of it would be a rain shower. Can I, uh, can't really rule out the chance for a snow flurry up here in northwestern uh, Connecticut. Timing it all out for you today, you can see that the clouds and sun, mostly sunny, and then clouds will roll in with that system up into the Great Lakes in upstate New York. And you can see a couple of pop-up showers here and there. And a lot of it will be banked up against the hill towns in western uh, Connecticut. And you see that pink color, maybe an ice pellet, sleet pellet. But for the most part, it's going to be in the upper 40s to around 50. We're going to have a breezy, gusty day today. It's going to be on the cool side. Uh, temperatures uh, tonight into tomorrow morning will drop back into the 30s and there could be some colder towns uh, at and below freezing. You see a couple of 32s there in Torrington and Meriden, but you can get down to 29 or 30 in northeastern and the northwestern towns in those colder spots. And then during the day tomorrow, uh, look for partly to mostly sunny skies, some clouds mixing in in the afternoon. High temperatures getting up to near and over uh, 60. Not a bad day. And then we're going to watch for Monday night and early Tuesday some showers uh, coming in with a warm front. So again, the yard goats are playing today. And you can see we'll have partly to mostly cloudy skies. It should be mostly dry. Uh, temperatures basically in the upper 40s to near 50. And then overnight, partly cloudy to clear. Lows down in the 30s. And again, we're going to watch this front come in now. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, it's a warm front. And then by uh, Tuesday morning, it should break through the region, maybe a light shower or two. And then we might warm up uh, as we get into the 60s and near 70, right before the cold front comes in. And then we're going to get that west-northwest flow. That goes down, and then another front comes back up. So basically, the fronts are going to be meandering up and down. Cold front, warm front, cold front. And then we're going to warm this thing right back up, well up into the 70s, I think, by Thursday. And uh, yeah, so we are really dealing with uh, a couple of nice days uh, starting again uh, tomorrow. Tuesday clearing and warmer highs near 70. And how about Thursday? Take a look at this. There is the chance for a couple of showers late up near 74. And then after that, as we get to the second half of April and towards April 23rd, it's going to get turned cooler than normal. Here's your Fox 61 seven day forecast uh, basically showing you that temperature trend and Angelo, so a couple of 70 degree readings for you uh, this upcoming week and for everyone else here that's kind of sick of the cool weather this time of year. Yeah, geez, that's 74 degrees. That's crazy. I'm not complaining, though, but that's so nice. Yeah, it we'll won't be a record, that. but certainly we'll take the 74. Absolutely, Sam. Thank okay. you so much. We'll check Thank back you. in.